Hey y'all, just a heads up. I made a video about two weeks ago that Disney blocked, um, saying that I violated copyright content. It's their stuff, okay, but I only use video taken from YouTube, um, so they didn't have a problem with other people using clips from their movies. So I think they just had a problem with what I was saying. But you know what? It's just a different point of view, and it's important because it's just different. So check this out. Hey yo, it's me. Well, I'm going to say it. I know you don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. The Jedi were tools. That's right. T-O-O-L-S. And that's why it's time for the Jedi Order to end. Here are my top five reasons why the Jedi were tools. Number five. The Jedi were fear mongers. A common tactic that the Jedi used with Luke Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker, and I'm sure the younglings, was to instill within them a deep sense of fear of the dark side. I quote Yoda, but beware, anger, fear, aggression, the dark side are they. Once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. And another quote from Yoda, don't underestimate the power of the emperor or suffer your father's fate, you will. Classic line of using fear in order to induce a certain behavior. And now we're about to find out in The Last Jedi that Luke Skywalker has rejected that and that you actually have to have a healthy use of the dark and the light to walk in the middle. Number four, the Jedi are profound liars and manipulators of the truth for example go back revisit the conversation that luke skywalker had with the force ghost obi-wan kenobi regarding the identity of his father darth vader luke skywalker asserted that obi-wan told him quote you told me vader betrayed and murdered my father Obi-Wan did not deny that he said that, but what Obi-Wan did was give at that moment an alternate version of that statement. Quote, your father was seduced by the dark side of the force. He ceased to be Anakin Skywalker and became Darth Vader. When that happened, the good man that was your father was destroyed. Unquote. Two different statements that mean two diametrically different opposed, diametrically different things, uh, diametrically opposed. They just mean they don't mean the same damn thing. The first thing, the first statement that he made that Vader betrayed and murdered your father made it seem as if there was this guy, Darth Vader, who came out of nowhere and killed Luke Skywalker's father with malice of forethought and wiped him out. The second one, the second statement about your father being seduced by the dark side of the force is a whole different story. Why not just say that the first time, Obi-Wan? So then we have to question, why did Obi-Wan tell Luke Skywalker the f that Vader betrayed and murdered his father at first and not give him the explanation that he did on Dagobah? It's because he wanted Luke Skywalker to engage in certain behavior. He wanted Luke Skywalker to go on a certain journey. He wanted Luke Skywalker to follow him. He wanted Luke Skywalker to do something. And he felt that the best way to get Luke Skywalker to act was to give him that version of events. And then to top it off, he very smugly says, so what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Well, no. What you told him was a lie from a certain point of view. I mean, if you intentionally did not tell him that Anakin Skywalker was seduced by the dark side and that uh, he ceased to become Anakin Skywalker. If you didn't tell him that at the beginning or in the beginning, then you lied to him. You manipulated him. So that's number four. Number three. The Jedi were manipulators. I mean, they were manipulators just 
as efficient and effective as Chancellor Palpatine. In Return of the Sith, you may recall a conversation with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker as they were leaving the Jedi Council. It went something like this. Quote, Obi, I'm quoting Obi-Wan. The only reason the council approve your appointment is because the chancellor trusts you. Unquote. Huh. Really? There must be a catch then. A few seconds later, here's the rub. Oh, quoting Obi-Wan again. Quote, Anakin, I'm on your side. Unquote. Anytime anybody says that to you, you, you know, you're about to get the business. Anyway, let, let me start again. Quote, Anakin, I'm on your side. I don't want to put you in this situation. The council wants you to report on all the chancellor's dealings. They want to know what he is up to. Unquote. Now, if that's not manipulation, then what the hell is? In fact, I'm not going to even use my own analysis or my own words. Just take Chancellor Palpatine's own words. Remember, a little bit later, they were at the opera. And what did he say to Anakin Skywalker? Quote, They asked you to do something that made you feel dishonest, didn't they? Unquote. You damn right they did. Number two. The Jedi believe and acted like they were above the law. You may recall, I'm going back again to Revenge of the Sith, that Anakin Skywalker informed Mace Windu that, hey, you know what? It's Chancellor Palpatine. He's versed in the dark side. I think he's the dark lord that we've been looking for. So anyway, Mace Windu and a couple of other Jedi jump on a transport ship and they fly right on over to the Chancellor's office. Now, that's the way they edit it. Don't believe me? Go back and check it out for yourself. And what does Mace Windu say? Said, what did Mace Windu say when he walked into Chancellor Palpatine's office? In the name of the Galactic Senate, you are under arrest, Chancellor. Whoa, 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 hold on. When the hell did you have a chance, after talking to Anakin Skywalker, to go and get an arrest warrant from the Galactic Senate? When did you have a chance to go speak with somebody in the Galactic Senate that Palpatine might be a Sith Lord and he needs to be arrested? So you just went in there pretty much. You just lied. No one authorized you or gave you that power. Oh, unless there's just this standing order that the Jedi, if they feel someone is doing something against I guess the Galactic Senate that they can just arrest them. No probable cause other than in someone's statement. Maybe. But it gets even deeper than that. So after they after he Chancellor the proper time kills a couple of the Jedi, he and Mace Windu are fighting. And you may recall Anakin Skywalker comes running in and he's having this conversation with Mace Windu. And Mace Windu is like he needs to stand trial. Fair enough. But then in the next breath, he says that the chancellor is too dangerous to be kept alive. And he's going to end the threat right then and there. And what does Anakin say? This is not the Jedi way. And so then we know the rest of the story. So here we go from a guy who just jumps on a transport ship, runs into the highest ranking political person in the galaxy and tells him you're under arrest. And then a few minutes later, he says, you know what? I'm not going to even take you before the Senate who I am arresting you in their name because I'm going to kill you right here because 
you're just too strong. Judge, jury, executioner. Didn't even talk to Yoda about it. I'm just making the decision in the field on the fly. <laughs> Crazy. Number one. The Jedi believe in patricide. Patricide? What the hell is that? Patricide is the killing of one's father. Now, you may recall from Return of the Jedi that Luke Skywalker was having this conversation with Ben Kenobi, the Force Ghost Ben Kenobi. And Ben Kenobi straight out says, Look, you can't escape your destiny. You must face Vader again. Now, Luke understood exactly what he meant by that. And Luke says, quote, I can't kill my own father, unquote. And I love this because there's this, Alec Guinness is like this big dramatic pause. And then he says, quote, then the emperor has already won, unquote. What the hell was that? This guy is just telling you. Dude, Ben, Obi-Wan, I can't kill my dad. And you would think there would be something sympathetic, at least acknowledging his plight. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's a bum deal. But he is like kind of like the second most evil man in the galaxy. So you have to do it. No, nothing like that. He uses this tactic kind of called like a guilting or he goes traumatic pause. Well, the emperor has already won in order to get Luke Skywalker to do something that he should have done. Obi-Wan should have done back on the shores of Mustafar. You had a chance to kill him. Why didn't you kill him? So now I have to come in here and clean up your mess. I I just can't get with killing a person's father. I mean, there's something to be said about family ties, familiar ties. No matter how despicable your dad is, he's your dad. Let someone else do it. Wish someone else to do it. Pray that he choke on a chicken bone or something or that his respirator fails. But for me just to find out that he is my dad and now for me to go and kill him and you all are pushing me to do it. That's worse than anything I ever heard Palpatine or Darth Sidious doing. That's just damn right despicable. Mm, mm, mm. So there you have it. Those are my top five reasons why I'm really not going to miss the Jedi. Why the Jedi were tools, whatever. In, in a way, the Jedi were no different than the Sith. And I think that this is what Luke Skywalker, he's going to come to this realization uh, on this island in Octu that whether you're talking about Darth Sidious or Yoda, there really is no difference. They both use deceit, lies, manipulation to advance their agenda so both could be considered evil from a certain point of view this is me that black guy with a drone telling you what Disney did not want you to hear but now that you've heard it tell me what you think if you like this drop a like if you don't like it then hit that dislike button but whatever you do Subscribe for more great content. Peace.